Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Cole and I am with the Army National Guard. I've been in four years or so and I get a lot of comments on this channel about how to join as a foreign citizen or with a green card or can you join the military to become a citizen? Questions along those lines. First off, I want to say I'm not a recruiter. Uh, nor did I have to join the military as a green card holder or as a foreigner. I joined just the typical way because I was born as an American citizen. So I don't have the experience uh, that you guys might be looking for. I just want to be clear off the bat. But what I do have is I went to basic training with a few guys that were going through this exact process. One of those guys had just come from a school to learn English and then he was put into my basic training after he passed the tests. Uh, so my point is it is possible and I'm going to kind of break down real quick how it's done. And finally, at the end of this video, I do want to touch briefly on a new act that was just introduced in Congress uh, that would make things a lot easier and uh, more expedited for some of these people that would like to join the military uh, and become U.S. citizens afterwards. I understand that this could be a political debate and I'm not here to have that. I don't want to have any sort of political affiliations on this channel. Uh, I just want to put the facts out there of what the bill states and then say who could benefit from it. So the requirements for non-citizens to join the U.S. military, they must be living permanently and legally within the United States. Non-citizens must also have permission to work in the United States, possess a permanent residence card, and have obtained a high school diploma, and then of course, must be able to speak English. Now over the last 20, 25 years or so, there's been thousands and thousands of people that have gone through this process. So it's totally doable. Uh, I'm not gonna say it's easy. It's definitely not easy to do. Uh, and there's definitely gonna be roadblocks along the way, but it is 100% doable if you qualify. One of those roadblocks is actually a roadblock a lot of US citizens themselves face when they wanna join the military because of health issues or physical fitness issues. They don't meet the cut. Uh, only about 25% of American citizens, if they wanted to join, could actually join. So you got to keep in mind that you'd have to maintain the same physical, uh, mental, and health regulations. You have to meet those standards the same way an American-born citizen would. Now, I do have a lot of content on this channel discussing being an officer in the military. This wouldn't exactly be the situation if you joined uh, and you're not a U.S. citizen. Uh, because federal law here in the United States does require you to be a U.S. citizen to become an officer. So that's one of the roadblocks you would have to join as an enlisted member. And then a second roadblock uh, on top of that is some jobs require security clearances and you wouldn't be able to obtain certain security clearances or certain levels of clearance based off of not being a U.S. citizen. So you're kind of limited to certain jobs if you join the military. You wouldn't get the full catalog of jobs to choose from like a U.S. citizen would. Now, I would recommend you do your own research on USCIS, uh, which is the United States Citizen Immigration Services website, uh, or just on Google in general, as that's where I get a lot of this information in this video. But according to this official resource, naturalization is possible through military service with as little as one year. The website states, if you served honorably in the United States Armed Forces for at least one year at any time, you may be eligible to apply for naturalization. While some general naturalization requirements apply under INA 328, other requirements may not apply or are reduced. To establish eligibility, you must be 18 years or older, have served honorably at any time in the United States Armed Forces or for a period of totaling at least one year. And basically what that means is you served, you didn't get in trouble, you did your job, you didn't get arrested for anything, you didn't have any issues while uh, you were doing your service. Demonstrate knowledge of U.S. history and our government and a few other items as listed on the U.S. CIS website. I link that website down below so you can do more research there. There will also likely be interviews, background checks, things of that sort. But generally, for people who want to become naturalized citizens, you must demonstrate good moral character, knowledge of the English language, knowledge of U.S. government and history, and some form of attachment to the U.S. and allegiance to the U.S. Constitution. Now, the quickest way that you can do right now to find out if you're eligible is to go to GoArmy.com. Again, I'm not a recruiter, but you can go to this website, reach out to a recruiter via chat, uh, get their phone number, email, whatever they have listed there on the website, and then reach out to them with specific questions that relate to you personally. It doesn't hurt, it doesn't cost anything to reach out and ask them questions. And I would actually recommend you do that if you are interested. You can leave questions here, of course, but your best answers are gonna come from those guys that do it every single day. Real fast, before I wrap up this video, one thing I did want to mention uh, was the Courage to Service Act, which was just at the time of recording this video introduced into Congress. It's a bipartisan bill, which is a 
good thing, which means people from both parties came up with the bill and came up with it together, so it's more likely to pass. If you're not familiar with how laws are passed in the United States, there's multiple levels before it gets to the president, who would then sign it into law. It's at the very first stage, so there's still quite a bit of time before this happens. I'll leave a link down below so you can check and see the updates on this bill. I won't read the whole bill to you, but basically what it does is allows non-citizens who join the military a quicker, uh, more expedited, and more automatic means of becoming a naturalized citizen. Citizen, uh, after their or during their military service obligation. Now I know this is a really important topic to a lot of people so if you do still have questions as I'm sure you do please leave a comment down below and I do my best to answer every single one. You can also message me directly on Instagram that's probably the quickest way to get a hold of me and as always thanks for watching see you in the next video.